I'm Ramsey Dewey here in Shanghai, China, the favorite place of American politicians and their sons to do dirty things. And, uh, you know, I'm going to teach you guys the easiest way to defend the oblique kick. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, anyway, guys, when someone gives you the Chasse Boss Jeep Direct, which you first learned on my channel in 2012 before, any other channels taught you that, how to oblique kick like John Jones, how to do the Chasse Boss Jeep Direct, how to do the two different ways, up and out, up and down like a piston, or sweeping kick when they're crashing in range a little bit quicker. Guys, I was also the first in 2012, if you look up how to defend oblique kicks, knee kicks, side kicks, learn UFC MMA, how to defend oblique kicks, uh, you will find that video, you will find a lot of stuff on Catch Jitsu, if you look up Catch Jitsu, how to defend John Jones, knee kicks, John Jones, special five techniques, uh, John Jones spinning elbow, guys, I got all that stuff in there, I did it back in 2012, a little ahead of my time, guys, still don't know how to defend the knee kicks. Ramsey Dewey is both right in that video, very correct, I just happened to see it, I wish I would have saw it last week, and very, very incorrect. That's why I'm making this video, because, you know, guys with all these YouTube channels, people are just buying into stuff. Ramsey's better than most, not like other guys that are only halfway decent in one range of fighting, and absolutely have never even had an amateur fight. No, 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 a smoker kickboxing fight doesn't count. That's not even a real smoking full contact kickboxing fight. Some beef is not a real fight. Kempo is not a real fight. And it's definitely not amateur and it's definitely not pro. Anyway, I digress. So, guys, the oblique kick, what you want to do is point it. He was right about taking weight off of it. But you should not let someone give your structure uh, like he was. So Ramsey's teaching this, which is what's basically in my video. But he was doing it where his head... Where his structure is broken, his head was coming down, he'd be left hooked or long hooked very easily. Ramsey, yeah, I've seen your fights. You kind of fight like a zombie straight up and down for a guy who works out all the time. And here I look like I'm unathletic. And anyway, he, Ramsey, you've gotten a lot better in your wrestling and jiu-jitsu in the last couple of years from the video I've, I've seen. So I give Ramsey that, and he's actually fought. So that's a good thing compared to other YouTubers. So anyway, guys, um, what he was teaching was this. And yes, you want to take the weight off of it. But that's not what I taught, and it's not as good as what I taught, and I'll teach you even more now. Because he was giving up his structure, and his head was coming down. Watch it. Every time he did it, his head's there to be hit. That's not good. You shouldn't let people move your base. What you should do is have your weight, wherever it is, 60, 40, 50, 50, you know, usually should be 50, 50, uh, not playing the tie, toe touch game. We're talking real fighting, MMA, self-defense. What you want to do is point it, but not stay back. And he was going back. You want to point it and go in. Anytime someone oblique kicks or side kicks you, anytime someone kicks it, you should be making them pay. Okay, I got four black belts. I started in Taekwondo. I know a few things about kicking. I sparred MMA with top fighters around the world for over 20 years. You want to point it, but go in right away. Two, three, two. Okay, so you point that kneecap. You point that kneecap, and sometimes it lifts above it, and that's fine. So that back motion he was showing there, like bring the heel to Buddy, should have told his little guy to bring his heel up more towards his butt. But you point it here, and you fall into the 2-3-2. Two, 2-3-2. Three, two. Two, three, two. That is your primary go-to combo you should be using to defend the oblique kick and the side kick, linear kicks to the knee. I'm the guy who made the, the term oblique kick stick. Because Joe Rogan, who I used to roll with for two years, Joe Rogan, on two pay-per-views in a row, started calling it the elliptical kick. And I made a big thread on the underground forum, MixedMartialArts.com, MMA.TV, which I made her, uh, came back to. And, guys, he was calling it elliptical kick, and I called Joe out, and people were bad-mouthing me, and then Joe got on there and says, Dan's right, he's very knowledgeable. I posted pictures of what an ellipse looks like versus what this does, either like a piston or a pendulum sweep. Those are your motions. It is not elliptical. And Joe said, Dan's right. So, because in the John Jones, I think it was John Jones was Rampage or whatever, he did it a second time, and I called him out. And he got on there, and Dan's a nice guy. I've trained with him. He's very knowledgeable, very strong, etc. so forth. So, anyway, guys. Oblique kick. I kept it named the oblique kick. So, if you did what Ramsey was saying, or it happened, and it could happen, like when he was talking about moving in and stuff. If it, he, it could, because he stands up like a, a zombie who get knocked out by a guy with good hands. But anyway, um... If you did let it go back, either because the guy kicked so hard it happened when you were with good timing and distance when you were moving into him, 
or you planned it, what you would do, guys, is you would lift it up, change your stance, and charge step left high kick. I'm not going to kick right now because I'm not warm. Uh, I'm getting older. But you would take it back. You'd be in your stance, or you're moving in, and boom, the guy kicked you back, and you would charge step left high kick. Or, alternatively, you, would you shouldn't let it happen, guys, really. But if it did, or you wanted to be tricky, it, you would lift it back and then go look at my charge step. You would go charge step, long hook, Russian long hook, charge step, long hook, cross, right, low kick. I taught that combination back in 2012. So you would charge step, high kick, or you would go, and that's a long hook with the four knuckle, left cross, right, low kick, a shifting switch stance gallop step. Look at my new striking playlist. But primarily, guys, you want to point it. I got my weight here, but then fall. Like, I could literally just poke someone in the eyes or grab their nose, whatever. You go here, two, three, two. And if you really want to know what I, know, I think about some other people with YouTube channels that think they can rank martial arts that they've never done, or uh, stuff like that, and they've never actually fought, and they're only halfway decent, halfway decent, one range of fighting, teaching everybody, and all these kids are sucking up to them like they know what they're doing. They don't. Cheers, please subscribe to my page and see if Chael Sonnen's gonna respond to that time he fake tapped on me. Look at that video I put up yesterday.